Hey, what's up? My name is Whippy Cake, and I am doing another question video from one of my readers who asked what uh, my favorite products and what the best products are for damaged and chemically treated hair, which I don't have because I have naturally flat and blonde hair. I mean, just ignore the roots. Okay, all jokes aside, I do consistently color and lighten my hair. And so I definitely have come across and discovered and sought out the best products for chemically treated hair. So I'm gonna show you my favorites and the ones that I use regularly. I'm gonna start with my favorite and probably the most, not probably, definitely hands down the most effective, and that is Olaplex hair perfector. This is number three. They have a couple different ones. Some you use in your color when you're mixing it and um, they each have different purposes. But this one is a treatment that you can use at home. You do have to get it from your stylist. But basically you can use this once a week on chemically on um, chemically treated hair. So all you do is you you will want to use this on unwashed hair. Your hair should be damp and but towel dry. And then you just apply a generous amount comb it through from root to end and leave it on. You could put a shower cap on, leave it on for about 10 minutes. Um, and this is something, I probably only use it once in between um, color treatments. So that's about every two to three weeks. Um, but like I said, if for like extra, extra damaged hair, you could use this up to once a week. Um, and this, like I said, anybody who works in a salon or has to color process hair, you for sure want to use Olaplex, whether it's in your color treatment or you use the at-home treatment for yourself. Um, but yes, go ask. I, I will try and find a link and put it below, um, or, or otherwise I recommend asking your stylist how you can get some of this. But this is for sure a must, 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 must. The next is something that I've been using for well over two years, maybe even three. It's a um, moisturizing, revitalizing, hydrating conditioner. And this is called Drench and it's from Sebastian. And you can tell this bottle has been well loved. It has lasted me forever. This is a professional grade, salon grade um, conditioner. But it's amazing, you barely need any and it just makes your hair seriously feel like silk and it's just really powerful but um, it's also not so powerful that makes your hair feel coated or heavy or anything like that so that is my beautiful bottle you can tell I love it the proof is in this the deflated bottle <laughs> the next thing that I use and this isn't necessarily um, something that you have to have or that's necessarily gonna repair your hair but it definitely I feel like it definitely makes a big difference if you're blow drying your hair or um, using any sort of hot tools on your hair and that is a leave-in conditioner so I'm gonna actually show you three um, different ones that I use and I love them all uh, I'll just tell you about them and tell you what I like differently about each of them the first one is the very first one I started using and that's the miracle leave-in product from it to 10 and this is honestly it's just a spray and leave-in conditioner type product but it repairs hair damaged hair it adds shine it detangles it controls frizz it seals and protects hair color it prevents split ends stops hair breakage creates silkiness enhances natural body and flat iron spray and thermal protection so this is safe to use with hot tools like flat irons and blow dryers like i said um honestly i really love this product i have a travel version i take it everywhere it's amazing i even use it on my little girl's hair another one this is a newer one that i started using it's a little bit stronger so you need less product I think the like the biggest draw for me is the smell of this product um, but I don't think it outperforms necessarily that it's a 10 this is uh, sorry I didn't say it's a bumble and bumble hairdressers invisible oil and it's basically like a heat UV protective primer so it's smooths the hair but it also primes it and protects it be before using hot tools um, but yeah it's not necessarily better than it's a 10. And this is the newest, newest one that I've gotten and this is a perfect blonde seal and protect leave-in conditioner. And the reason why I love this one is because it's great for blondes, especially when you're trying to have white, white hair like mine. You need something that's made for blondes because it helps it from discoloring or turning yellow or getting brassy. And that's why I love this one from Pervana. And it's just the Pervana, the perfect blonde leave-in conditioner. 
The main thing to keep in mind with the leave-in conditioner is it's a product meant to use on damp hair. So you shampooed, conditioned your hair, towel dried it, and then you would spray this product in, the leave-in conditioner in before you blow dry. Okay, so with me, let's move on to the very last product, and that is serums, and more specifically, a heat protective serum. So I have a couple here, um, and the, these two are the ones that I am using currently. I don't use them at the same time, um, but I feel like they are good for different reasons. The first is this PYT Argan Oil. PYT are a pretty young thing. They make amazing flat irons and styling irons and whatnot. And so they have a whole entire line of heat protective tools or um, products and they're all safe to use with hot tools. So that's why I love them because I know if I use this, it's not gonna discolor my hair or um, react negatively to heat. Um, also, this smells amazing. So I really like this one and it really does leave your hair leaving like really like smooth and silky, but it also has like a lot of bounce and body to it. The second one is this Living Proof and it's no frizz nourishing oil. And this one's amazing because it stops frizz and adds a healthy shine. And um, I think this is great, especially to recommend for people who have curly hair or if you have curly hair and it's color treated, most likely you, you really have a lot of frizzy hair. So this one's gonna have a lot of like excess, like um, a more power as far as like reducing frizz and like poof control. So, um, but otherwise it is super safe to use with heat tools and it smells amazing. And again, you're just gonna get a lot of like body and it's not gonna look greasy or anything like that. My hair completely drinks up any products that I use on it. The trick with serums, I will put a little bit on my ends um, before I blow dry and then I will put a little bit more on my ends and pull it through or brush it through before I use a flat iron. This just uh, helps to protect from the blow dryer and it helps to protect from the flat iron and it helps to control your hair from getting really, really frizzy and poofy like usually happens when you're using a blow dryer. So I do use this twice. All right, so I hope this answered your question, but those are some amazing products that you can use for your chemically treated hair. Um, it's one of those things that you can't really expect to bleach the crap out of your hair and then go all natural. You have to be using these types of products to restore some of the um, damage that you do to it and to kind of tame the coarse hair. When you bleach your hair, you're stripping it, you're opening up the pore shaft on your hair, which is gonna make it look really rough, frizzy, abrasive, and these products are really gonna help tame that and give it more of like a natural look. So um, that's why I really love and recommend all of these products, and I will include links below to every single one. But if you have any questions about any of them, be sure to leave a comment below. I always answer my questions personally. And um, I appreciate you so much for watching this video and especially for sharing it. Don't forget to subscribe to get more videos and tips from me. And if you have a question that you would like me to answer in a video, leave that in a comment as well below. But otherwise, I'll see you next time. Well done, Christy.